The new law makes it illegal for presidential candidates to spend above $2.7 million, while governorship candidates must not exceed the $550,000 limit. And the senatorial candidates are not allowed to spend beyond $111,000. The law counters an old habit of heavy campaign financing to swing electoral outcomes in favor of rich politicians. The penalty for failing to spend within the limits is one year jail term or $2,700 fine. If we find anybody breaching the uh, campaign expenditure limits, then we uh, will probably have to refer to the security agents to investigate and when they submit their reports to us, if a prima facie case is established, then the Commission will not have to prosecute anybody, any candidate who has breached those uh, expenditure laws and regulations. The bill places the responsibility of monitoring campaign financing on the Electoral Commission, but the Commission doesn't have a desk for monitoring campaign spending, let alone the capacity to track expenses by politicians. It says it will work closely with civil society organizations to ensure over-financing campaigns is curbed. The law has narrowed the ability to do so. Even though there are, there are still issues around aspirant spending, which the law does not capture. But right now, what happens is that um, if, we are, if we are able to hold candidates liable for actions of their supporters, because what you then see is that uh, people will then be spending on behalf of the politicians. So we will need to expand that dragnet. The idea of setting specific expenditure limits for politicians during campaigns is a big step towards tidying up the electoral process in Nigeria. But many election observers think more needs to be done to make the law more enforceable. And that means creating a more robust system dedicated to tracking spending of politicians. Kilechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.